Welcome to the Cool Ideas channel, where we explore the coolest, quirkiest, and most mind-boggling things happening in the world. Now, let's talk about the Nissan Skyline GTR. The car that made its iconic appearance in the movie Fast and Furious 4. I mean, who hasn't seen those movies, fast cars, adrenaline pumping chases, and enough muscles to make Dwayne Johnson jealous? But did you know that one of those legendary rides recently made headlines at an auction? Yeah. This car means business. So, this 2000 Nissan Skyline GTR, driven by the late, great Paul Walker, just sold for a jaw-dropping $1.357 million, I mean. That's enough money to buy your own racetrack and still have some leftover for a lifetime supply. Of nitrous oxide. Now, don't get me wrong, it's an awesome car, but let's be real here, it's not like it's one of those unicorn-like, super rare models that only a handful of people on the planet own. Now, rumor has it that Universal Studios gave Paul Walker the green light to modify this beast any way he wanted. And bo, did he go to town? He added a Turbonetics intercooler, Ropora brakes, and a Nismo and E1 exhaust system. I mean, he turned that car into a street legal rocket, but let's not forget what's under the hood of this monster. We're talking about a 2.6 liter turbocharged RB to 6 tit engine. Tuned to produce a whopping 550 horsepower. That's enough power to make Vin Diesel's voice crack even higher. And with acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 4 seconds, you better hold on to your popcorn. Folks, this car means business. Now, here's the kicker. After all the fast and furious action was captured on camera, the car was seized by the US government. Talk about a car getting a bad break. It's like the government said, hey, Thanks for the entertainment, but we'll be taking that now, but hey. The story doesn't end there. The car then made its way to Germany, where it was stored for years, and now, it's back in the spotlight. Breaking records and making car enthusiasts drool all over their steering wheels. So, there you have it, the Nissan Skyline GTR, a car with a story as wild as the movies it starred in. From confiscations to modifications, this car has seen it all, and now. It holds the record for the highest price ever paid for a model at a public auction, I gotta say. It's not just fast and furious on the screen, but also in the auction room. Before I wrap things up, folks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell this channel. Thank you, and stay cool, everyone.